family joined. Your local weather with meteorologist Brian Briggs. Well, happy Saturday. I hope your day is going great so far. You know, we did see a lot of showers this morning, and now we're kind of clearing out, so it's leading to a nice Saturday evening as of now, and temperatures are actually not bad. We're seeing 85 degrees here in Monroe, feeling like 91, so not all that bad, and you could actually see there was a little shower kind of off in the distance there, and yeah, we've just been seeing those periodic showers and storms today. We're expecting to see those kind of stick around at least for the next few days or so, but I'll get more on that in just a second. Temperatures right now, not bad, especially out towards the uh, Louisiana-Mississippi border. We're seeing upper 70s, a little warmer towards the north and west you go. So we're going to see those upper 80s into southern Arkansas and sitting really nice in Monroe. And those heat index values are not too far off. Again, it's a little toasty up in southern Arkansas, but not all bad considering where we could be right now. So our live storm tracker Doppler radar brought to you by Eorum Young. Yeah, showing a few of those isolated showers and thunderstorms. We actually had more this morning, and uh, they've really kind of fizzled out as we did have a band that was pretty widespread, especially towards the eastern portions of Louisiana, but you can kind of see the remnants of it in southern Arkansas and down south of us. And uh, it doesn't look like we're going to really see those sticking around. So here's kind of a recap again. This is all due to an area of low pressure that's off the Gulf Coast. You can see widespread showers and thunderstorms kind of just moving on around this low pressure system. And yeah, we had a solid band kind of try to make its way towards us and then it really fell apart once it got to the arc limits. But don't fret if you're hoping for rain. It's looking pretty good as this low pressure system is just going to be kind of sitting over the same spot for the next couple days. Although it'll kind of start to meander towards the north and the west into east Texas for the next few days and when that does it's just going to bring us you know rounds of showers and thunderstorms uh, beginning you know uh, as we saw today continuing into Sunday and into Labor Day unfortunately as well but hey we really need that rain as drought conditions are still sticking around the Arkhamus especially the out those of us out towards the western parishes we really need to see that rainfall and this is some good news as we do see a pretty decent chance of that heading into the next couple days so let's time it out on future tracker again you can kind of see those showers and storms kind of you know hanging around for the next uh, even you know after the sun goes down well, the majority of them will wrap up after the sun sets but we could still see them at any point of the, of the day and then Sunday afternoon again you can see widespread showers and thunderstorms redeveloping as it just waves of energy come off of this low pressure system and then again hanging around for Monday as well so if you have Labor Day plans please make sure you're staying safe from lightning when thunder roars go indoors and yeah it just hangs around all day Monday and then I think we'll start to see a break for Tuesday. So again, we kind of get a break on Tuesday and then we see another low pressure system off the Gulf, which could bring us another round of rain heading into Wednesday and Thursday time frame. So let's just see how much our models are showing us that we can get for rain. Yeah, we can potentially see over an inch here in Monroe. Some of us seeing a quarter of an inch. So I think pretty much everybody will get in on the rain. And unfortunately, <laughs> the barbecue and grilling forecast doesn't look all that great for Labor Day as a yeah we have a pretty high chance of storms and then it's going to be rainy for the next seven days yeah so just keep that in mind if you have plans going outdoors this weekend